The Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change IPCC 2021 report on climate change indicates that developing nations will continue face unprecedented weather events such as extreme heat and unpredictable rain patterns as a result of climate change. The report goes on to say that agricultural activities are at risk because farmers will not be able to harvest enough if the current trend at which the climate is being depleted continues. As global leaders prepare for the COP26 summit, climate change activists are urging world leaders to find long-lasting solutions to climate change. Johnny Pandapanda of Jesuit Center for Ecology and Development says it's appropriate for the information that will be generated at COP26 talks to be shared to the locals. Knowledge sharing will help many to understand and also to take their individual or organization uh, actions uh, pertaining the commitments that our government uh, have made towards the COP26. Gloria Kamoto, another climate change activist, believes that fulfillment of commitments that have been made in such meetings before will help in addressing the impacts climate change has created in the developing countries. I think there's been quite a lot of submissions that have been made, but one of the most important submissions that has been made and the call for action has been on um, the fulfillment of the obligations. And that's the hundred, that's the financial obligation from developed countries who are the historical emitters and they um, have agreed in the past to finance climate adaptation and mitigation actions in different countries, especially for least developed countries like Malawi. And we cannot state just how important the financing is because this is what will enable us as Malawi to be able to adapt but also to develop the technologies that can allow us to mitigate the impact of climate change in the future. Among the top goals that have been prioritized at the conference as the UK takes the presidency of COP26 includes the reduction of global temperatures to below 2 degrees Celsius and to protect people and nature from the impacts of climate change through adaptation.